What's up, man? What's up, dude? Not much. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. I was gonna get some homework done. Dude, screw that. What do you think about parties? I don't know, man. That's kind of sketchy. I don't want to get in trouble. Come on, dude. I can't do it unless you do it. We have to um, do it together. Look, Tyler, know. Tyler. Yeah, come here, come here. Yeah. What do you think about partying tonight? Heck yeah, dude, I'm in. See, look, Spike's in. We can't do I'm it in. if you're not in. All right, all right. You're let's in? Go. All right, let's, all right, go. All right. let's go. Let's, let's go. go. I'm so excited. It's going to be so lit tonight. Hey, we're not out of the water yet. First, we got to find some you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Hey, you stay here, and when we come out, get ready to drive off real quick, guy. Right? We'll be back. Be careful. Okay, so what's... All right. We're going to wait till the cashier goes to the back. We'll go to the back. we we'll grab the stuff. Go to my bag. Just book it to the truck, all right? Get it, get it, get it! Hurry, go, 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 go! Woo! It's a party night, boys! <laughs> yeah! I got my milk! And party man. time! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! You boys ready? Yeah, man, I'm ready to freaking party. Yeah, bro. Let's party it up, dude. The only thing to make this better is if Clayton and Shannon were here. Got that feel good stuff. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> boys ready? Yeah. Alright boys, let's have a good night. Let's get crazy. Woo! Woo! Uh, I know when the hotline bling. Like you know you mean one thing. I know when the hotline bling. Don't abuse drugs and alcohol, or bad things will happen. Not only will you be harmed, but so will your friends and family. 
please make the responsible decision. Tim Callahan. And I'm Gracia Aguilar. We'll get to that health alert in just a moment. But first, a tragic story. A young woman is dead and a drunk driver is behind bars. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle shares what we know about this early morning crash. Cassie? Yeah, Tim and Gracia, a community is mourning. I just spoke with two young ladies who knew Crystal and just put up this cross. I also spoke with the neighbor who called 911, and he is extremely distraught. This is all that's left from a terrible drunk driving crash that happened early this morning, changing two lives forever. Richard Prosser just graduated from Centennial High School. Late Thursday night, he was driving this truck in Northwest Bakersfield when he lost control, flipped over, and crashed, killing his passenger. Police say Prosser was driving drunk when he crashed, and that incidents like these are 100% avoidable. Now emotions are running high on social media, showing these shocking images. Some are in disbelief and heartbroken. Others placing blame, saying Prosser was stupid, and they hope it was worth it. But looking at the damage done to families, a driver convicted in a deadly DUI crash comes face to face with her victim's loved ones, but can't muster up the courage to even look them in the eye. It was September 25th last year. Driving with no headlights, she hit Lorraine Kennedy and her husband David Sandell as they crossed the street. The couple was in town visiting family to celebrate Kennedy's granddaughter's fourth birthday. Sandell survived. Kennedy did not. You understood the consequences of your actions. You were taught by driving your own community. Family and friends will remember Kennedy for her laugh, love, compassion, and forgiveness. Although Travis Kennedy says today he's not ready to forgive. Good evening. A heartbroken mother is searching for answers tonight. Her daughter and her daughter's close friend were killed by a drunk driver in Clarksville on Sunday morning. And Vicky, when we met Sharita Busi today, she had just finished shopping for the clothes that her 18-year-old daughter will be buried in on Saturday. And what bothers her the most about all of this is that it could have been prevented. They were heading home. She was on her way to take him home, and they just never made it. This is no place for a life to end. I'm in shock. I'm just, I'm just in shock. I just can't believe it that she's gone. And this is not the place Sharita Busi thought she would be today. The two young lives came to an end for no reason. Remember about that night when you crashed the car into the tree? I mean, were you just so drunk? Do you remember anything? I remember driving home, and I don't remember the accident itself but I don't think I'll ever be able to forget waking up in the car. You know, the shattered glass everywhere, my hands covered in blood, the cars speeding past, nobody stopping. That feeling when I looked to my right and saw there was someone sitting in my passenger seat, but I didn't know who it was. Grabbing her hand, trying to wake her up, and getting no response, those are things you don't forget. When I would pick up the phone to call Laura, only to hear her voicemail and realize I was never going to talk to her again. You know, going through this, dealing with it, the legal aspect, the physical, spiritually, that's hard enough. To not have your best friend there to go through it with, to be able to call on, to know you're the reason you can't call her, that's an indescribable feeling. 16-year-old while driving under the influence will be back in court tomorrow. 18-year-old Tyler Scraggs was driving a car that ran off Taylor Road in Greenville County last November. Traveler's Rest High School junior Haley Cantrell died from this crash. I never in a million years thought I'd have to bury my baby. And it broke my heart. He should have been arrested. He, he deserved what he gets. First, though, a teenager charged in the death of two other teens in a deadly prom night crash. A teenager involved in a deadly car crash in Moab now being behind bars with some shocking changes. There are definitely students with a lot of spunk. A raw emotional evening in Moab tonight as hundreds gathered to remember two teenagers killed 
in a car crash. That deadly crash also sent three other teens to the hospital as well. Tonight, the community came together for a candlelight vigil. Daniel Woodruff joining us live from Moab tonight. Daniel, this is a tough time for everyone in that community. That's right, Shauna and Mark. This is a tragedy that has shaken so many people here, especially those who attend this high school. They're mourning the loss of their friends and teammates, and they're praying for those who are still hurt. It's been pretty somber. For the 450 students at Grand County High School, this week has left a big hole. It is a small community, so it's a loss for everyone. 14-year-old Taylor Bryant and 17-year-old Connor Denny both died early Sunday when the car they were riding in rolled several times. Three other teens inside were critically hurt. The crash happened in northern San Juan County. Investigators there say alcohol and excessive speed likely played a role. He was just nice to everybody. Just a good kid. <laughs> it's a big loss for this small town. And for Claire, who misses her cousin, it's a sobering reminder. I'm a teenager too, and I know what it's like to go out and like want to have.